Welcome to the new episode of BCD Tech. In this episode, I will show you the comparison between 264 gigabit card for your smartphone. I am Dr. BC and you are watching BCD Tech. This is Cronchium 64 gigabit card. It is Nitro 566X with 85 Mbps speed that is megabyte per second speed the 64 gigabit version as you can see that it is micro sd uhs1 xca1 class 10 device now you it is 64 gigabit now i will show you the specification that it can read up to 85 megabit per second but the with right speed is lower it is waterproof temperature proof magnetic proof and x-ray proof the maximum retail price is 4499 but you can get it has very cheap price at your retail market now quickly unboxing this card here is your scrontium 64 gigabit nitro card and this is my uh, sandix ultra 64 gigabit card now i will show you the both of this card is uhs1 this is Sandis Ultra UHS-1 that is again Scrontium UHS-1 both of this card is UHS-1 now to compare these two cards I will use my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 this is my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 now just quickly putting this card inside this Note 3 just go to setting and then to storage as you can see that I have formatted this SD card so that the Note 3 format is written on this card that is the extended fat partition is now formed on this SD card now I will show you the performance of this card by this SD card tester first of all I will move toward the internal storage as you can see that the software has very poor touch response now I can use this pen to change the storage from yeah SD card external SD card to SD card 0 the SD card 0 is an inbuilt 32 gigabit card I'll go back and now I am starting this test as you can see that the writing speed is around 42 megabyte per second the average speed is 39.4 megabyte second whereas the reading speed on the internal storage is around 49 or 56 mbps megabyte per second it is not mbps it is megabyte per second so overall writing speed is 39.4 megabyte per second and reading speed is 51.21 megabyte per second that is your internal storage now i will just move oh i have to move towards this external storage that is your memory card uh, yeah go back and select external sd card now press back now this external sd card is selected now start test as you can see that writing speed is too much smaller it is around 12 megabyte per second now speed is decaying 11 10 it is fluctuating between 11 and 10 megabyte per second so the average speed is 10.54 megabyte per second that is writing speed now the reading speed as you can see that it is around 50 or 49 megabyte per second the average is given 47 megabyte per second so the writing and reading speed on this sandisk card is very low that is writing around 10.54 megabyte per second and reading at 47.01 megabyte per second or that is your sandisk ultra card now i will quickly remove 
this card from your my phone and put this chromium nitro card now again i will you can see that the total space is reduced it is now around 59 gigabit now i will quickly format this card so that the extension extended fat partition is written on this card now i will start the test it is external sd card is selected now press start test now i will show you the speed the maximum speed is 13 around 13 14 megabyte per second now let's see what is the average writing speed on this chromium card the average writing speed is around 12.49 megabyte per second that is comparable high comparable high than this sandisk card now as you can see the reading speed is again much higher that is 51.03 megabyte per second so this chromium card perform better in this writing and reading cycle as compared to this sandisk ultra i will write so that i can save this reading and writing speed or that is your strontium s o s t r n t i u u m that is your strontium card i'm just saving this now i will show you all of this reading writing cycle I'll just go to gallery. A data is chromium that is twelve point four nine writing and five fifty one point zero three. That is your reading speed. That is chromium card. When we see the sandis card, ten point five four megabyte uh, per second writing, forty seven point zero one. So the chromium card is ahead than this sandis ultra, whereas the internal storage that is thirty nine point four megabyte per second. that is your internal storage so in conclusion this sandisk card and this chromium card has comparable low write, reading and writing speed if you want a higher performance card you can choose this chromium nitro 566x because the reading and writing speed on this device is much higher as compared to this sandisk ultra Thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel the subscription link is shown on your screen bye bye